Hello and welcome to my first official product review. Not really though, because it's a product from the 40s or 50s, so I really don't think you can review it, because I don't think you can buy too terribly many of them anymore. So, um, what I did last night before I went to bed, I had a wet set on Thursday night, and so Friday night it was the leftover wet set of that, so it was dry hair, and I used this lovely little product called the Hold Bob Curling Kit. Gaylord Products, Chicago, Illinois. And I decided last night to use this. I don't know why I had eight million things to do, but I thought I'm going to use that. So what I did was I brushed my hair all out, and I followed the instructions as close as possible, and I will read them to you right now. Comb your hair into strands and slip end of strand into slot of the curler. By turning curler, wind the hair tightly and evenly on rod until curler is quite snug against scalp. Not really super snug, because it was dry. I think it was what you probably could get a tighter curl down. Insert one leg of hold bob, bob pin inside end of curler, and the other big leg outside over the curl. Lost me there. Hold curl with your hand and withdraw curler, leaving the hold bob, bob pin, which come with the kit, into the curl. So I pretty much did that on my dry hair kind of messy. Um, did my whole hair and then um, after I was done putting all of that in and then I sprayed my hair down with a solution of half and half water. Water and motion setting lotion. And I spritzed the whole thing down and kind of wet it really well. Wrapped it up with my cotton night turban that I do and woke up this morning and put my, my little hair net on just for breathability when you get up. So what we're going to do now is unwrap it all no idea what it's gonna look like um, and we're gonna try to, cr to comb through it maybe I don't know we'll see so I'm gonna take my net off got a little mirror set up over here so I can kind of see what I'm doing I can get it off the bobby pins okay great took my cute I love that little hair net so cute it's got little silver strands through it love that so this is what it looks like and I hope I am doing this appropriately so you can see the curls it's kind of a uh, dry all over the place, but they're real tight little curls to my head. And they're kind of frizzy because I've been putting hair nets and this and that on it, so it's kind of fuzzed up. So what I'm going to do is take all of the pins out. And I use bobby pins and pin curl clips throughout it to hold it. Um, and I really wish I could learn how, and I will someday, learn how to fast forward when you're doing certain things so you don't have to listen to me chit chat on and on and on about whatever. I will someday. Stick with me, people. I'll get the knack of all doing all that YouTube stuff eventually. Oh, Lord, it looks frizzy already. And in the back, I put, like, multiple. You know how you put one bobby pin in to hold it, so then you put three more in to make sure it doesn't go anywhere? That's what I did. So I have a cross-hatching of multiple bobby pins here in the back. Now, sorry if my elbow or whatever's in the way. I wasn't quite sure how to set this all up when I did it. I know it's best to have the camera in front of you when you're doing it and whatnot, but I don't I haven't figured that out yet. I will though. I'll get that. I'm not gonna do too much on the way of um hair tutorials or makeup tutorials or whatever because I'm not really super good at it. Sometimes my stuff turns out awfully. And I think this might not turn out today either. Um I brought all of my brushes that I own to see if one of them will work. And um, just from some suggestions from the girls on YouTube, I bought the Dendum, Dendum um, styling brush, and I have a, my ratting brush, and I've got my um, little uh, rat tail comb I use, and then I've got a paddle brush. Um, so i got a little bit of everything, so I'm hoping that one of them will get through this. I don't think it's good at all. This is like an uber um, pin curl, I think. Can you imagine if I would have done this on wet hair? So, if I can't get this brushed out today, I decided that I would just put it up in a, pull it back, fluff it up, and put it in the scarf. That's what I'm going to do today. I think I cut them all out. Nope. You know, you think you do, and then you start taking them out, and then you find another one. So I'm just going to start, oh, here we go, <laughs> pulling all this out. And, oh lord, it is pretty fuzzy. And I wish I would have in here, which I do not, is some, uh, it's kind of like a light water-based pomade. 
to help um, curb the curls up a little bit, I might go grab that. We'll see. All right, we'll take these all out. Oh, Lord. Look at that fuzz. Just a whole bunch of fuzz going on. Reminds me of my 80s perm. <laughs> all right, so I think I got everything out. Well, let's just kind of start curling out, or um, brushing out some of these curls. <laughs> I think I'll start with my paddle brush, because I think that will be less painful. Oh. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> oh, lordy. Okay. So I guess I could face you while I'm doing this, because I don't need to really look in a mirror when I'm brushing this all out. That dendum brush is really nice to use, but I kind of like the cushion of the... Um, paddle brushes because it's that little cushiony thing. It just feels, I don't know, I don't like to bring tears to my eyes when I'm brushing my hair out, I guess. So I'm just going to keep brushing until I get through all of this, and hopefully I will. Well, that wasn't too terribly bad. That was livable. But since I wasn't fastidious when I put it in, I think I got a lot of curly, frizzy, flyaway stuff from last night in there. And I'm sorry about my positioning and if I'm in and out of frame and focus or whatever. This is my first one. Ah! Alright, so we have a lot of fullness. Look at that. Oh lord. What am I going to do with this? Okay, so um, we got a lot of fullness really right here, and I think I'm going to do is grab, because I'm not completely prepared, I'm going to grab my uh, water-based smoothing stuff to help us along with this whole, I hope it works. So I have my, it's Edge Smoothing Pomade, and olive and tea tree oil, um, lasting edge and fixation control, and I believe this is water-based. That's what I have used in the past. Um, I know they have heavier wax-based stuff, and I just don't like the um, feeling of it on my hair, and I know it works better and it makes it look better and stuff, but I just kind of like something lighter on mine. So we're going to give this a try once we get it to where we want it to go and um, see what happens. So we have all of this going on, and now once I got through the majority of that, now I'm going to use the um, Denman Styling Brush to see if I can... Oh Lord, I'm going to find a part here. You know what? Usually my hair will have a nice little natural part. But not right now. I think I better find one amidst all of this frizziness. At least that will give me a place to start what I'm doing. I always side part mine. If I'm doing like kind of a little 60 something, sometimes I'll do a little center part. But otherwise I always like a little side part. Kind of got a cowlick on um, this side of my hair, so I kind of want to cover it. And I don't, if I put my part on that side, then it feeds into my cowlick and I have this giant wiggly waggly part down from my back of my head from my colic. So I try to always do it this way just to cover it up. So I'm just going to use my little rat tail comb here, which I got for 59 cents at um, Walmart. So I got what I want there. I'm just going to use my paddle brush a little bit more just to smooth the majority of that down. Like I said, I'm very sorry that I'm not directly looking to the camera. I will configure out how to do that at some other point. This is my first one, so. And I'm just going to brush down. It's kind of not going too bad. And I'm going to start forming it around my hand and see what happens with it. <laughs> this is just craziness, all this fuzz. Oh, it's coming out. Surprisingly, it's kind of coming out for me. I kind of have like a little signature hair thing that I like to do. I do kind of like a little, I just found it's kind of my um, hair thing that I do and it's kind of reminiscent of what my mom kind of did back in her teenage 20s. She kind of did this type of thing. I like to have a little curl here. I'm going to curl it. And I'm very sorry that my hand is in front of my, my arm is in front of my face. So I kind of do a little curl here. Like that. And then I kind of smooth this back a little bit. I usually like this side back, and I might put a hair comb in it. Kind of gives a nice little wave there, plus all this frizz. I'm 
and brush that all out. Someday I'm going to be really good at these brush outs and figure it all out. Haven't got there yet. I'm still learning all of this stuff. But I'm not going to form it because I'm just going to be home today. So it's just going to be a little simple something that just a little experimental hair day for me. Because today is Viva Packing Day. So I just wanted to fix my hair up a little bit. So I kind of do a little teeny little cur off side curl like that. As you can see it right here. It's kind of usually my, I don't know if I quite like that. Um, my little signature curly thing. And it, my hair seems to always go that way, I guess. That's why it's my signature hair thing. Is my hair has a um, habit of always ending up that way. So I just said, let's roll with what my hair wants to do. So I always got a little curly, curly cue here, and it might be who knows what kind of shape. And see, this is formed kind of like a little indentation right there. So I'm going to kind of hold that with one of my little clips. If I would have had one of my big alligator clips, I would use that. Just kind of hold that, and then look at that fluff. It's like a poodle. <laughs> And then I'm just going to hold that there and just brush down and hope that something starts forming here. But it does. Like I said, this is not going to be fancy and all structured. It's just going to be, I'm at home today and this is how it's going to look. So it's just for me. And I got another little one that formed there. See that? So I'm going to just work my way down this large thing of fluffiness. And keep brushing that out. And hopefully we can brush all out right. some of this so stuff. I'm just still brushing through all of this. And I think before I get any further, I'm going to use some of that defrizifier. It pomade, sorry. It is a defrizifier though. So mine's water based, like I said, so it's pretty white. It's not even white, it's clear. Look at that. Isn't that something? So anyway, get a bunch of that. I'm going to put that. Maybe that will help me out a little bit with this. I don't know. Since I'm starting to clip it and stuff, I better um, put some of this on now. It does help. It says it's supposed to help get blend in your little baby fine hairs around your face and whatnot. So I don't want to put too much on. I think part of it is going to work out okay. And part of it's going to be frizzy. So it might be a nice part. And then this is reminiscent of, I'm going to rape it all the way through this. Maybe that will help. <laughs> reminiscent of my mom post perm in high school. You, um, watch a little video we were talking about my mom's perm. She had the um, perm that the train would come to town. And then you make an appointment and you get on the train and it was with the chemicals and the um, funny wires and it was all hooked with electricity and zzz and the fry it and just fried your hair. So anywho, stop going off on my tangents, Mary, okay? So, let's brush this around your hair, and that does help. All the girls say, oh, brush it around your hand. And when I first do it, I started doing this, I'm like, what? What do you mean brush it around your hand? And it does help. kind of smooths it and puts it where you want it to go and puts real curls in it, other than just fuzz curls. So, like I said, it's going to be not very structured and super fancy and I'm not going to spend a lot of time because I'm going to be at home all weekend. And I just wanted to experiment with a little something. So that's why I did it today. Not that I had time. I've got other stuff to do, but you get something in your head, you want to do it, and then you just do it. So there, I'm kind of happy with that side. Kind of loose curls a little bit fuzzy, but not too bad. So that side's kind of how I want it to be. Now it's this side. So in the back I'm just going to take um, little sections, brush them out really good, and then brush them over my hand. So I'm not quite sure how that's going to turn out because I can't see what I'm doing. So I'm just going to do it in two, sec two simple sections. Brush it out and then brush it over my hand. And then we'll see how that turns out in a second. I did go grab a little 
mirror so we can see what we're doing. And sometimes with this little curly cue thing that I have going, sometimes I'll put a little bobby pin in it to make it kind of settle down to where I want it to be. Just like that. Just a little, it's a little home do, so it's okay. Alright. And this is, you know what, it is that little bit of light pomade that I put on there really did seem to defuzzify my hair. And they are kind of coming together kind of nice. This is very surprising. So, kind of got a little light layer in my hair here, so I kind of want to get the layers to kind of come together for me. So just kind of brush them together like that. And I kind of like to leave it a little bit curly. And I got this right where sometimes I'll do the little flip up here and around, but this kind of has such a nice little wave in it. I grabbed, and I use 8 million different types of hairsprays. If I'm going out and I really want it to hold super good, I'll use the big sexy hair. Um, if it's just during my work week, I use Rave, which dries everybody nuts. And people come over, Rave, I didn't know they make it. I don't know, I just like Rave hairspray. It was a big thing in the 80s, and I, they still make it. And I like the hold, and I like the brushability of it. Um, so I use that during the work week when it doesn't matter if it's like super structured and doesn't move anywhere. And then... I was shopping online and they had this really good deal on and I fell in with the, love with this company called The Balm and they have really cute retro -y looking makeup and stuff and they had this super good deal on their hairspray and then they were like six dollars a piece and it was free shipping and handling so I got three of them just because I like the packaging and it's a nice light hairspray you know not really super holy but it's a nice light hairspray so I'm just gonna spray that a little bit where I got that cute little crease and then I got a nice little S coming down. And I got a little little, little teeny loopy curl here. But that's okay. I'll keep that. So I'm just going to kind of spray that. Like I said, this is just daytime wear. Just going to be at home anyway. Having you guys come over later for a little packing party with me. But I wanted my hair done a little bit. All right. Well, that didn't turn out too terribly bad from them. Can okay, get the fuzzy hairs down a little bit. I'm going to move that one little curl up just a little bit. It's kind of too far back. I kind of like it more in the front. Then I hope I didn't wreck it and pull it all out. But I don't think I did. I just like that little curl. I don't know why. That's not very hidden. Well, you know what? I think it's going to hold now anyway. So I can just independently spray that and have it stay that way. So, like I said, this is just my little home here for the day for packing. You want to be pretty when you're packing because you're packing pretty things, right? So that's kind of that, and I'm going to check and see what my back looks like here before I show you because I do not know. So I'm just going to check in my little mirror here, kind of even that out. That didn't turn out too bad either. So, um, this is kind of like the finished product, I guess, um, of the the bob. It worked pretty good. I thought, I'm going to use this again. It went pretty quick for me when I, I used it last night, too. It didn't take much time, and since my hair was dry, you know, if you're pin curling, your hair gets so slippery, and you have to keep trying to do it and whatnot. And this worked really slick. Um, I know they do make pin curl um, devices now that you can use to make pin curls, and I've done pin curls and stuff. I don't have the patience. I kind of like to get stuff done and over with and do it quick. My review on the Holda Bob is A+. Plus. I love it. It worked great. Um, like I said, if I spent a little more time and knew how to use it a little bit better, I'd probably get a little bit better end point. But I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. You know, I, I feel it has the little vintage feel, and it finished off well. And I don't know if I showed you the back or not, but there's the back. So I'm pretty, pretty happy with that. So that is my first official product review on the Hold Bob. And i uh, very happy with it. So thanks for joining me. And uh, we'll have to do this again sometime. Bye.